good morning to everyone today's class i am going to discuss about the double delay line canceller so here i am going to discuss in detail about the blind speed okay and also double delay line canceller and here in previous lecture we discussed the mt radar with the power amplifier and single delay line canceller and filter characteristics and uh, what are the disadvantages of single delay line canceller all those things we are discuss discussed in previous lecture now so what are the drawbacks we are face in uh, previous lecture those drawbacks are overcome here by using double delay line canceller system so here these are the contents i am going to discuss about the following contents here it is introduction blind speed and double delay line canceller so what is the double delay line canceller here uh, that is going to in uh, introduction what are the problems we are face in previous uh, uh, topics and uh, what is the concept of double uh, delay canceller line canceller and uh, what is meant by blind speed how it is going to work uh, how it is going to perform uh, depending upon the amplitude of the spectrum and uh, also double delay line cancel how it is perform what are the drawbacks are uh, observed at a previous uh, lecture that is single delay line canceler those are overcome by using how it is overcome by using double delay line canceler so coming to the introduction here uh, here i am going to discuss about the introduction so coming to the introduction here the first point is as i told you here in previous uh, slide in previous lecture we have already discussed about mti radar and the concept of delay line canceller and the drawback of delay line canceller so but here by observing the frequency response f fd equal to 0 so that is the having it uh, uh, response of the delay, de single delay line cancer that is a uh, 2k sine pi fd into tp where the fd is nothing but frequency response of the system okay and if the fd equal zero so here <coughs> eliminating the clutter clutters regard to the stationary object so clutters means nothing but unwanted echoes unwanted echo signals and uh, as well as moving objects for for multiple harmonics of prf pulse repetition frequency we are eliminating the clutters from the stationary target and also the moving target so means here uh, there are so many harmonics are received at the radar receive station uh, in uh, a moving target indication radar system so there the dc components the single delay line counselor the single delay line cancer main object of the system is to uh, remove the DC components uh, to allow the and to process the AC component. But coming, but whereas uh, in MD radar system, there are so many number of harmonics are entered at the radar receiver station. At that stage, uh, some of the uh, moving target indication signals are also eliminated by a single uh, delay line canceller. That is a major drawback of, at a uh, single delay line canceller. So here we can remove, we can overcome that problem by using double delay line canceller. Okay, and here apart uh, here, I want to discuss about the blind speed and uh, uh, delay line canceller. So here blind speed, blind speed means here it is the relative velocity for which the frequency of the signal delay line canceller become zero. The frequency of the signal. The frequency of the signal nothing but it is a fd so fd is the frequency of the signal fd equal to zero okay the relative velocity for the signal for which the frequency frequency of the single delay line cancer become zero called blind speed so this is our uh, single delay line cancer output response 
so here it is the amplitude response here this is the frequency fd if you have that fd equal to zero <coughs> that is nothing but blind speed here so here the response of the single delay line cancer will be zero whenever the argument pi fd in the amplitude factor of the above equation is zero pi two pi and so on etc or when fd equal to n by t that equal to n into fp so here fp equal to fp fp equal to one by capital t okay instead of one by t you can write here n into fp where n is nothing but n the number of system n the number of uh, phases so where n equal to 0 1 2 and so on and fp is the pulse shift and frequency the delay line canceller not only eliminate the dc component caused by clusters that is n equal to 0 but unfortunately it also reject the any moving target whose doppler uh, frequency happen to be the same prf okay whose doppler frequency having the same prf that signal also uh, delayed by the uh, single delay line canceller here so the relative target velocity here finally we are getting this uh, uh, the relative target velocity which is uh, result which result is given by this equation vn equal to n lambda by 2t and n in lambda into fp by 2 so fp is nothing but it equal 1 by t where n is the nth nth, nth order nth position of signal where lambda is the operating wavelength frequency operating wavelength okay where n equal to 1 to 3 and so on like this this is the basic uh, small information about the blind speed i'm coming to the delay line canceller here double delay line canceller the frequency response here the frequency response of a single delay line canceller does not always have a broad clutter rejection broad clutter rejection broad means larger space larger number of clutter rejection does not always have a broad clutter rejection now as might be desired the vicinity of dc okay and here the output of the two single delay line canceller in cascaded is the square of that form of a single canceller so here the output as i told you here the um, this is the this is the output response of the single delay line canceller here this is the output of the single delay line cancer if it is going to be double delay line canceller so the output of the double delay line cancer is nothing but square of this system square of the output of the single delay line canceller so that is the point here so the output of the two single delay line canceller in cascaded is that is the square of that from a single delay line canceller okay and the relative response of the double canceller compared with that of a single delay line canceller is shown in graphical representation i can see i, I will uh, i will show you in a next slide but this is the basic system of the a double delay line canceller system uh, here it is figure a is the double delay line canceller and the figure b is nothing but three pulse cancellers here let us see here suppose here uh, we can uh, here I, I receive a signal here it is f of t okay f of t here we can apply the original signal is uh, in this way and again the signal will be applied to the delay by tp one tp they call one by fp that is one thing but pulse rotation frequency delayed by pulse rotation frequency and this is the subtractor here again the response is applied to the second uh, delay line cancel system finally we are getting the output response here but i am assuming here the signal input signal is f of t the first delay line cancel output is nothing but here i can mention it is a x of t and finally we are getting the output responses here it is uh, y of t okay this is the uh, final response of the double delay line cancer so all those things we have to derive finally we are getting uh, double delay line cancer system output response so from the figure a x of t equal to f of t minus f of t minus tp 
this is the delayed signal this delayed uh, uh, signal this is known as this is known as equation number 1 whereas in second stage that is uh, at y of t is output response but at the case of uh, second uh, system we are given the input response is x of t is the input response uh, let us see here here um, <coughs> second delay system the in, uh, input response is x of t so then so here it is uh, x of t uh, here it is uh, x of t minus capital t this is the delayed signal delayed time so finally we are getting y of t equal to x of uh, x of t minus x of t minus tp that is represent the equation number 2 so from equation 1 substitute t instead of sorry inst uh, substitute t with the t minus tp then we get equation so x of uh, x of t minus tp equal to for this uh, equation from equation 1 we are getting uh, instead of t we can replace with the uh, t minus tp then we get x of t minus tp equal to f of t minus tp uh, f of minus f of t minus tp minus tp okay this is the equation number 3 okay so here where the t is available instead of t you can replace with the t minus tp finally we are getting response is equation number 3 okay and now substituting equation 1 and equation 3 in equation 2 we get y of t equal to x of t minus x of t minus tp so we know that x of t is nothing but here x of t is equation 1 and x of t minus tp nothing but equation 3 so finally we get The response is y of t equal to f of t minus two uh, f of t minus t p plus f of t minus two p. This is the final response of our double delay lane cancel system. So here one note is there here. Uh, one one note is there. The output the output of two delay lane canceller which are cascaded but which are cascaded will be equal to square of the output response of single delay canceller. as i told you in first uh, in a uh, delay lane canceller the response of the double delay lane canceller will be the uh, square of the output response of single delay lane canceller system so this is the note here uh, hence the magnitude of the magnitude of output of double delay lane canceller at uh, md md receiver is equal to 4k square sin square of uh, pi fd tp whole square so this is the uh, final response of double delay lane canceller uh, so th this is the uh, graphical representation of double uh, delay lane canceller system so here it is uh, the shaded uh, area i think but it is a, a clutter spectrum okay clutter this is a unwanted signal it is uh, removed by the double delay lane canceller and the plotted uh, the curve uh, plotted is uh, here it is uh, represented as a solid curve is represented with the uh, represented as first stage of the output response and the dash line is a uh, repeated at the uh, double delay lane double delay line cancel system output response but you have to observe here uh, but there is a similarity in between uh, double delay lane cancel system and uh, single delay lane cancel system there is a slight difference in the occur in between single delay lane cancel system and a double delay lane cancel system this is the basic information of our uh, concepts such as a, a blend speed and a double delay lane cancel uh, what are the drawbacks of a, a single delay lane cancel uh, how it is going to uh, work uh, by using uh, other another system that is nothing but a double delay lane cancel system uh, how it is going to work that all those uh, derivations are done by this done in this concept right and the advantage is uh, it rejects clutters broadly okay it rejects clutter broadly and it can operate for all frequency ranges so these are the advantages of double delay lane cancel system okay thank you